Hello dolls and gents and we are back to the fun part of our week picking out and playing in our makeup. So starting here to the left, I am still going to continue with my Lust perfume and I do have a Lust lotion and that's going to be my lotion of the week. I'm just going to mix it with a regular lotion so that it sticks and lasts longer on my skin. These perfume lotions that you get with perfumes and stuff, they don't really last that long by themselves. If you mix them with your regular body lotion, any regular body lotion, they will last longer and adhere. I'm going to use my setting powder that I mixed up myself, which is a contraption of several different setting powders. And I use that in the end as a final set. There is a video on that. Please go check it out. I'm using my BH Cosmetics Studio Powder. I'm going to use my Lancome Tint Eau de Lay. We're in the summer. We're in the hot months. So the Estee Lauder Devil Wear and the Lancome comes into effect. I'm going to use my Too Faced Melted that you saw me in last week. I only wore it once last week when I first grabbed it. Um, this Sephora lip gloss thanks to A Plus Blonde Beauty. Um, it's called Baby Doll. I think her name is just A Plus Blonde. It's, um, she's here on YouTube if you follow her. I swear every time she gets a lip lip item I have to go get it so as you can see this is not open yet I'm gonna open it just grab it um, buxom and yuho I'm gonna use my NYX for another pink color and then I have this bite lipstick that I haven't used yet it's in caramel and I really do don't sleep on bite I love the cut that they do I love the angle of the way they cut the lipsticks. They are so creamy and they do last. And I'm going to be using that Bite Lipstick in Caramel with that Buxom Lip Gloss in Yoohoo. So I think that's going to be gorgeous. I'm going back to my single shadows again this week. I didn't get to use that many last week. So I'm going to play them out for one more week. And this is just the tray I have of single shadows because I forget about them. I'm really a palette girl. I really am. So I won't be buying any more single shadows, but I want to put them to use. I have my City Color Blush, Bronzer, and Highlight. I think I'm going to have to get something a little bit darker for my contour. I don't think that bronzer is going to be dark enough for me. Um, so I may do a cream contour and put that bronzer in the middle over it. This highlight stick that I got, I forgot where I got this highlight stick from, but you guys seen it in a video. I think Beauty Box 5. It's a cream highlight stick. Very, very tricky to work with. I'm going to try to work with it one more time, and then I'll probably try to use this as an eyeshadow or something because these cream highlighters are crazy. I have the Makeup Forever Full Cover Waterproof Camouflage Cream for my highlight. Now, this thing is thick as all outdoors. I may switch it up because I try not to do thick under eye concealers in the summer. So I may end up switching that up. I'm going to try to use it very lightly. You don't need much. But if it's just too thick, I'll save it for the winter. Overall setting powder, I'm still testing out the MAC Pro Longwear setting powder. That pressed powder. They just came out with this. And it is a final set setting powder. Last week, I used it as my under eye highlight. Last week. I set my under eye highlight and then I went over it with this. Did absolutely wonderful. I'm afraid to use it all over the face because of the uh, disagreement me and Mac have. <laughs> but I'm going to try that. And I'm still messing around with this e.l.f. Uh, bronzer palette. Just trying to get it down pat. Let me see if I can get it open. Doesn't want to open. I forgot where I got it from. I don't know. A lot of you guys said you've never seen it before. I don't know. Remember where I uh, got it from. It's a beautiful, beautiful bronzing palette. So I've been playing around with it. It kind of goes on me when I mix all four colors like I did last week. It goes on a little ashy. That kind of scared me. So what I'm going to do some days is take it as a highlight over my highlight and see what happens. Um, try to play the colors out by themselves. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit more this week because I, I think this is a really, really nice palette. So these are my items of the week. You guys don't forget to play in your makeup. Hashtag me on Instagram under Fearless Fiend and the items that you will be using for the week. I can't wait to see them. And I'll see you guys the next time we plan our makeup.